quick fast video today um, basically try to remember what I did for the deload deadlift that I did on Tuesday that was a couple of days ago and then I actually did the same weight for my speed deadlifts to remember what I did good and bad mostly that uh, shoulder positioning right over the bar this video doesn't really give a good angle but I felt pretty good doing this my grip was giving out just a little bit um, my pinky up Jan did about a couple months ago it still hasn't fixed itself but otherwise pretty satisfied with these speed, that speed lifts I mean it's pretty lightweight but um, from doing all the other lifts uh, for the past couple weeks on the deadlifts anyways I do kind of notice my back is a lot tighter I don't shoot up my hips anymore uh, or as much but until I get back into the heavy sets we'll see where that goes um, reason why this video is actually short and I had to do this workout pretty fast was uh, I should have my kickball game tonight well by the time I'm recording this narration, it's, uh, it's already happened. It was a freaking blast. Um, I did end up winning Rookie of the Week. We did our challenge. Um, there might be a video out there. Uh, if there is, I'll post a highlight. <laughs> Still got my uh, beer shotgunning skills with me, even though consumption is dramatically less. But, uh, and comes with a belt. Have to take care of a ball. We'll see what I can do with it. But, um, despite having to work 4 in the morning, um, I do get to show up to the gym just a little bit earlier. So, with them emptier, it's a lot less stressful. Um, but my mind is kind of numb coming in. And I, I'm glad I got the D low week. I can concentrate on well if my mind screwed up now and if I get to good form uh, I figure I can get pretty good results once uh, the weights start going back up uh, that's for the bench so it is deload week for the bench I'm liking my form a lot for the bench these days uh, again I did drop it from my max of 270 down to two, 235 for the max I think the D low week, I don't even go above 135. Uh, talk about <laughs> no longer ego lifting. Um, definitely, I got some stares from a few people <laughs> who I guess I thought I should do better. But um, I could definitely see a lot more leg drive. And, and I do love the arc in the back. I th and whenever I bench, I don't think I have that much arc. But. Uh, I'm able to set up properly these days, and I could feel my legs pushing in. Uh, one video I saw earlier today was Omar Isaf's bench video or Q and A video. He talked about thinking about pushing your body into the bench while you're benching, rather than uh, pushing away at the bar. I've tried that; uh, it felt pretty good. Um, but my main worry was since I get my elbow tucked in pretty good uh, now, to concentrate on the leg drive and uh, staying tight overall so the tightness of the back I actually feel a lot of pressure on it maybe I sh maybe a belt incorporation might be good but uh, leg drive definitely felt a good leg drive today hopefully this will transfer over um, I did do some I did my usual uh, accessory work ended up not recording those or I think I did record them but I'm not gonna post them um, that's about it, uh, overall pretty hectic week, pretty fun, the, the couple kick, kick, kickball game, they're, they're, they're a blast, a great stress reliever, and, um, the only thing is they, <laughs> it goes, it goes to a pretty late, so, coming in to work four in the morning the day after, that's, that's rough.
But otherwise, um, just did some slingshot to eat the lighter weight. Now, once the weight got too light for the slingshot, it was really hard to bring it down. Um, now that that forced me to concentrate a lot more on the elbows again. But that was a good thing. Um, overall, pretty good session. So, peace out, guys.